Welcome to our continuing series on homeopathy with our beloved Dr. Kachikaka. Today a very important subject because you say that walking is the best exercise. Could you elaborate on that, sir? See, walking is best exercise because it's a very simple exercise. And when we say walking, walking doesn't mean only the lower limbs are walking. The whole body participates in it. Like it's a wonderful mechanism of work. When we land on one foot, we land on heel. And then slowly we bear the weight on that and the other foot is allowed to land further. So when we land, we land either between 15 to 35 degree angle. And that type of gait ensures that our venous drainage rises. The, the veins, the, the calf muscles and all those contractions and relaxation of calf muscle for this type of gait facilitates good amount of venous drainage against gravity. Mm -hmm. It works like a pump. Ah. So that walking, we have demonstrated that some person who had swelling on the feet because he had not walked. We just asked the person to walk in this gate for 5 minutes and the swelling subsides. So walking is very effective exercise to ensure the, the venous circulation. Uh, of course the circulation in general but especially the venous return is very much good. Is there a certain speed at which one should walk? See, on an average we say that 10 to 11 minutes per kilometer would be a moderate and good speed for walk. But you know it depends upon like like if you are walking on a slope or, or you are climbing up. So that may vary. But the best exercise we call it that when you walk to and fro that also has helped many people to control their blood pressure. Because when you are walking in a natural walking forward, that's fine. But when you are walking backward, the, the, you are more and more totally concentrated on your body. Oh yeah, so huh. you're not turning around, you're walking yes, backwards. Yes. So it is unconventional. So that yes. alertness is much more, you know, mm -hmm. there at the focus. So that has helped many people to overcome even blood pressure. Only thing is that walking has to be proper gait, proper pace. Like if, if we have seen one person used to carry his office bag about 2 kg weight in his right hand. And because he used to get load on right side, his spine developed scoliosis. In Maharashtra, they wear dhoti and that dhoti has one part where while walking that may obstruct. So they hold that dhoti in hand and walk. Mm -hmm. So one hand is that. swinging ah. and one hand is holding and person used to walk. So eventually after a few years, he developed that sort of a posture. Mm. So walking has to be in proper gait, proper posture, in proper place then it's a wonderful exercise. What about age related? Let's say an elderly person, what pace should they have? See, very elderly. Very elderly means like super senior if we call like 80 plus, oh, okay. 80 plus. For them the pace and, and the stride can be shorter. What we advise for them is like don't take long stride. Oh. Don't take long stride mm -hmm. and 10% slower pace. Will will do wonderful job. So a short stride, slow pace, and if possible, have optional support like stick in hand. So if there is a odd surface or you have to cross, then you can take support. Oh. So walking with like walking stick in hand is always safe if it is not a conventional walking track. Oh, or, or if it is say sand like loose soil. 
it's not a hard walking track then there also you need some support a walking stick is a good idea yes yes optional you yeah. you may take right. support or may not take support but it should be like a short stride slow pace wonderful exercise for elderly also thank you so much